I did this one course with Lindsay Mack and the way that she described it, I literally memorized all those cards in one day. And of course, since then, they've just kind of evolved into what they are now. Um, but the way that the, the reversals, it wasn't even exactly like memorizing a whole new thing for the way that I read reversals. Sometimes it speaks to awareness around the thing. Like, you know, this is something that you're struggling with, but I see that you're working on it. There's an awareness here Or sometimes it means resistance and they're like not wanting to deal with it. And so there's some, but then there are people who read reversals where they literally read like a whole new meaning behind it. So it really depends on what works and resonates for you. For me, I love reversals because to me, it's like, oh, it's a little bit more information than I had before. I don't need to read reversals. There are times where it shows up right. And I already know it means reversed. It just comes to me, you know, but to make it simple for those that don't know, and they're just learning, I, I think that adding reversals could be confusing. And so yes. definitely starting with it upright is a good idea. And then play with it after that. Maybe you want to do reversals. Maybe yep. you don't, you know, it's whatever works for you.